Yeah, I'm here at the RTC Mobility Training Center where earlier today I got a look at some of the security measures already in place on RTC buses and some new ones that are coming both for both passengers and drivers. We also learned how the driver reacted when he found out what happened on his bus. The video was difficult to watch. A man getting punched in the face by another passenger. Carl Scarborough has been with the RTC for more than a decade and like people all over Las Vegas, he saw the video too. It was pretty horrific. I, I can't imagine what somebody could say or do that would cause that reaction. Scarborough says in situations like this one, drivers have two alert buttons they can use. One patches them into dispatch who can hear everything going on inside the bus. The other button is when things get a little bit more serious. There's another button they can push that will push them to the top of the queue. Um, so that they're in immediate contact in any circumstance uh, with dispatch. RTC says the driver behind the wheel at the time of the attack became aware after a passenger told him about it. He became aware of it. The guy was already off the bus. He alerted dispatch, hit the button, um, and, that, and secured medical assistance for the victim in this case, and that was the appropriate action. <laughs> RTC says drivers have a lot going on when they're on the job. Not only do they have to pay attention to the road, but they also have to keep an eye on the mirror so they can see what's going on towards the back of the bus. For all the parents out there, it's like driving with your kids. You know, you got to pay attention, not hit anybody, not get hit. Keep an eye on what your kids are doing. It, there's a lot going on. RTC recently received a multi-million dollar grant to install new security cameras in their buses. 811 buses will be equipped with this new security camera. They're high resolution cameras. They have more storage capacity and law enforcement can access them more quickly. I spoke with Las Vegas Metro earlier today. The suspect in that attack has not been caught yet. I'm Enzo Marino, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.